Well, you've probably seen some of those TV shows, flipping houses for profit or even making your own improvements so you can increase your home's selling price. What you don't see is the money lost in the process because they may not always follow a few simple rules. To share those rules with us, Wayne News real estate expert Denny Grimes in with us this morning. Glad you're here because the shows make it look so easy, yeah. and it's not. Yeah, they made me want to go out and try it, but it's, it's, yeah. it's not really for the amateurs. And there's two things we're going to talk about today. One is to buy to flip, and the other is for the... The homeowner, what should they do to sell their home, or should they do anything? Yeah, because your point is that the money in the flip is made at the purchase price. That's where your profit is, right? At the very beginning. It doesn't. It does not matter how good you are with hammer and nails. You have to be able to hammer a good deal. That's where the profit is, and then everything you do to add to that house will increase its saleability, but it won't increase its profit. Mm -hmm. The profit is made when you buy it. So if you're going to go out and invest and flip this home or whatever, make sure you buy right. If you don't, you can't sell right. Yeah, because what you say from that dollar price, your profit. Is is being eaten in everything you're spending to improve the house. That's profit. That's not investment. Yeah, that's surprising. In fact, the, uh, I have uh, brought a slide or some information that the National Association does, uh, Realtors does a study every year on, on value added. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting is there, there's not one improvement you can do that costs a dollar that gives you a dollar, a dollar and one cents return. Mm -hmm. in, fa in fact, the highest replacing the front door was the lowest in the survey. It cost about a thousand dollars, and you get about about eight hundred and fifty dollars of value back. Huh. So you only get about 85 percent, and that's the highest percent return on any home improvement. Pretty and you amazing. go down the list where people think, well, "What about my kitchen?" Well, a minor kitchen re re uh, redo, maybe a twenty thousand dollar investment, only yields about seventy five percent. And then he went to the uh, ultra, the hundred thousand dollar complete uh, home home improvement makeover in the uh, kitchen for hundred thousand dollars. It'd only give you basically a seventy percent return. Yeah. So in a sense, it's not you're not getting your money back. No. Every dollar you invest, you're getting less back. So understand that. And then the third rule is that um, if, make sure that if you're going to invest some money, now you might be able to save some money if you do it yourself, but if you don't do it professionally, you've totally lost. Right. If it looks bad, yeah, it's not going to sell. No, ugly doesn't sell. The, the three things a homeowner should really think about if they're going to sell are the three C's, and that's cl uh, curb appeal. Make sure the out outside of your house looks good. Pick up your stuff, trim your bushes, add some mulch. Mm -hmm. Very inexpensive. Uh, clutter is a big thing. When people walk in, it looks like the hoarders live there. It's, that's going to decrease the probability of it selling for a good number. And the third thing is critters. Get rid of pet owners. Get smoking. All those types of things puts a downward pressure on the desirability and price. And homeowners can do those three, three, three things for basically little or no money. Right. And get you off to a good start. And you say, too, the homeowner, it doesn't make a lot of sense. You should do the improvements for you. Don't fix up the kitchen to sell. Fix up the kitchen for you. That's right. Um, and the other point is, if you want to take on a project and you think you have the ability to do it, don't go halfway. It's kind of like I, l I would like to have a 69 Camaro Cherry, but if you do the inside but you don't paint the car, you're not going to get the full dollar uh, uh, on the auction. So if you're going to start the improvement, take it all the way through, and that's to give you your best chance of getting a decent return for the money you've invested. That's why this isn't for the faint of heart and isn't nearly as easy as it's made to look sometimes on TV. No, it, it, it isn't. I would like to go out there and, and get some uh, gold in Alaska, too, but it's probably just not easy at finding <laughs> a hole and start digging. No, probably not, but they find gold on those shows, don't they? No, they, oh. they seem to. <laughs> they seem to almost all the time. Good advice, Denny. We appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, we'll be right back. Top stories, weather and traffic are after this.